Provo Beast here doing a kind of a different installation today rather than my typical audio installs. Similar to a few other videos on the channel, I'm doing a door lock fix. I've done them before in Jeeps and other vehicles as well. A little bit different. I figured I'd post this to help you guys out. So today, this door lock actuator in this 2003 Expedition has failed. Um, unfortunately, being the lock all the way back instead of in the front. Um, since the actuator has failed, to lock it and unlock it requires you to crawl all the way through the vehicle. So, we've ordered this part. I'll post this part down here in the description. It's not a four genuine part, but it is a Duralast part. So, this is the rear right door of the vehicle. And today, in this install, we'll be pulling apart the door panel. Replacing the door lock actuator and putting the panel back together All right, so first thing first This panel here is all held on with clips using a panel tool You get up behind the part pop that out Slides on out from away from the handle and then this bottom portion all also held on with clips Allows you to unhook the harness and remove this piece as well and we'll go ahead and remove one, two, three bolts. Okay, so I removed, this is a Phillips. And then down here, these are six millimeter bolts. Now, before you start yanking on the door, there's a little panel here that also just pops off by a clip. And then there's hex nuts that you'll also need to remove. Okay, these are T20s after removing those T20 hex. Um, it's not necessarily clips, they're actually tabs that lift off, so you pull straight up and the door panel will come free. Now once the door panel is free, go ahead and pull back the weather sh shield here. And this is going to grant us access to the door lock actuator. Okay, as you can see I moved in the garage, it was quite warm in the sun. Okay, so we pulled back our shield here. Now these are T27 Torx. Go ahead and remove all three. I'm down to the last third, and this should loosen the whole door lock mechanism inside the door. After you remove those three bolts, it's easier to kind of get access to see what's going on if you just pop that plate out. It's the child safety lock plate. Again, just held on with clips. Once that's out, those three bolts are free. This whole piece now just slides on out. You may notice, let's see if I can get a shot of it. See that green and black clip right there? If you undo that green clip and slide it to the right, as you can see there, it allows the rod for the, the handle to release. And this just work it out. This piece will come free. Also what I did is I unscrewed this top piece as well. So after some time of jiggling it, this piece comes free. And as you can see, here's our door lock actuator, which we are replacing with this guy right here. Okay, after disconnecting the two harnesses right there on the end, yeah, I released that little inner clip, as you can see there, so it slides on out. This with one hand. So it just slides in, and this part clips in there that little groove, pop that clip in and it slides on out just like that. We'll go ahead and grab our new one, and slide it in there. Okay, slid just the new one in, doesn't bolt or anything, it just clips on. I clip the harness back in it and I'll with one hand attempt to show you how it works. Lock, unlock, that was our issue. Now we'll do up this other harness and basically it's just a reversal. Work our way back in through this hole to this clip area. And now we, when we slide that back in that hole, we want it to go just like this. So the two bolts and the one at the bottom. Same thing there. On my index finger is what will clip back into the exterior door lock receiver. And then this portion will stick up through our door lock hole. So work it in this way, be gentle, 
so you can bolt it back in with those T27 bolts. All right, so we got those three bolts in. Worked it so I got that in there. Okay, and see that green clip, green and black clip? Focus will be a little off there, but I put that door lock rod up through there and then latched it back together, latched the green hook to the right. Okay, now let's do a little test before we button it up. These are nice and tight. There's lock, or excuse me, unlock, lock. Lock, unlock, well done. Okay, like I said, reverse order, put everything back together. All right, door panels all back together. Final test here, lock, unlock. Do you have any questions about this replacement? Go ahead and post a comment below. Again, this is for a 2003 Expedition. I'll post additional years that this also applies to. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like button down below. I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching the channel and uh, see you in the next video. Have a good one.